All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the final race of our season three playthrough of F1 Manager 2022. So if you missed the last few episodes, then let me just recap by letting you know that we have already secured both the Constructors and Drivers Championship. Right now we are sitting atop the team standings with 626 points, so a good 122 points ahead of Red Bull. And in the driver's standings, Alex Albin has secured the World Drivers' Championship with 359 points, 45 points ahead of Max Verstappen. So it doesn't matter what happens now. We don't have double points in the last uh, race of the season. We have uh, pretty much secured this already anyway. And Oscar doesn't really have a chance to get P2. I think pretty much, yeah, pretty much the top five, six top six have pretty much been um settled uh, maybe maybe top five because claire still has a chance to leclerc and signs both still have a chance to um beat george though realistically not i think the top 10 uh top 10 are pretty much done and over with just a matter of the last four in the top 10 the um to figure out at the end of this race so not much to race for today let's check our email congratulations post race overview and i believe we have some research going on so one day six days 30 days when is the next race four days okay so none of that stuff's gonna get in um, by the time we get start the race weekend um do we have any points to distribute okay logan gets one point we'll add it into cornering there Give him some 80s up here. I think we're going to replace him with Oliver Behrman. Uh, honestly. Oliver Behrman is a 73 and he is 19 years old. Logan Sargent is a 76 and 23 years old. So we might do that. We also might replace Gaetan. I'm not quite sure yet. No points for our staff here. Facilities look good. Car parts test center being upgraded right now. We do have $19 million. Do we want to upgrade the suspension simulator? Yeah, let's do it. Let's upgrade the suspension simulator. And the facility will cost $14 million. Um, scouting department we really don't need to bother with. And our facilities management is good. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue chassis research is done that means we can start up another research project let's see we want uh we want chassis do we have any more wait we just finished the chassis didn't we all right so we want rear wing and underfloor or was the suspension that was done i think we already did yeah we already researched twice we researched once so we need to do rear wing and underfloor let me take care of this real quick and i will get back to you okay so we just added on the rear wing research project as soon as the side pods are done which will be done in seven days we will throw in the underfloor uh, and that should be at least one research project per uh, part so uh, nothing left to do here we're not really racing for anything but pride in this final race. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Guarantee these performance targets. All right, so we should be able to finish this uh, finish and qualifying position streak at the end of this race. So uh, let's go ahead and start this. I'll take care of practice. One of my subscribers asked me to keep the qualifying in, so I will do qualifying on camera today, but I will take care of practice off camera, and I will get back to you at the start of qualifying. All right, guys, here we are about to start qualifying. I haven't quite gotten um, Oscar's setup down just yet. Now, I'm wondering if... If this will do it, we have great, bad, optimal, great, great. Uh, let's hope that fixes it. Alex is at 100% right now, which is good. Uh, how many tires we have? We have three. So let's just do one run in FP1. We'll do a used and a new in FP2. And then we'll have 
be used in a new for F or Q3, I should say, not FP. Um, and then we'll do that. And then that way we can have two sets of brand new. So let's see if we can get a set of new softs, one set of new softs for the race. Um, but I think we, oh shoot, I almost forgot to change this back. Okay, so we'll put them onto new parts or the newest parts, I should say. And what's the newest engine here? 78% it looks like. Yep, so that's 77. Um, we'll install that. Install that. Maybe I'll save one of them for the race. We'll use the older one for qualifying. They're both at 88. It's 82, 84, 85. So we'll go with the 84 for quali. 83, 88, 84. 84, 87, 78. So gearbox is starting to go down a little bit. So we have 100% car setup for Alex going into Q1 and untested for Oscar going into Q1. But this should be better than the whatever we came in with as the braking stability was not that good. So let's go into qualifying. We'll manage this. I'll cut out any of the any of the uh, time that we're not uh, actually out on track. Green light, green light. All right, so we are at Abu Dhabi. Nobody's going out yet. I just want to do two runs, so we'll do one run at about 10 minutes in, and then we'll do another run right before the end of qualifying. Actually, we might only do one run depending on what our time is. If we're in like the top five, I might only do the one run on uh, in quality in Q1. Schumacher spun out turn six. Hopefully we don't get held up here. I don't believe anybody is on a fast lap right now in front of us. Yeah, it looks like Alex Leclerc is on a fast lap and so are we. Piastri is stuck behind Russell and o uh, Ocon though. Hopefully he, he doesn't get slowed down much. All right, so we are in P1 and P2. I think I might be okay with this. Looking at the gaps. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm just going to do the one run in Q1. As we won't need um, anything faster than that. Closest guy to us is Perez. Who is almost a half a second off of Piastri's time. So I think we're good. Let's hope this doesn't backfire on us. Is anybody going to improve here? Uh, a lot of people do improve, but nobody is even close to our time. Been a crash. Like a Ooh, bus has crashed. Play. Turn 12. Okay. So there we have is this going to end Q1? Well, Q1 is already over pretty much, so if you haven't finished your lap yet, Goodness, I think that's it. Else was that was a big crash. Yep, looks like it did ruin a few drivers' runs there. All right, so luckily for us, P1, P2, and Q1. Mersapin's got a grid penalty. Bottas has a grid penalty. Uh, but he did just crash out, so I don't know if he's going to be in there. So we did manage to save tires there. 95%. Way to be. Way to be. I don't think we're going to improve on that. Let's try that. Let's see if that'll help him at all. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and start Q2. Alrighty, here we go, boys. Uh, I'll send them out on the used Stop tires. They should be green now. Send them out on the used tires. Again, we'll let them go out at about 10 minutes. And then we will save our uh, new tire run for the end of qualifying and hope to God that we don't get a red flag or something like that. So it does look like a good chunk of people are going out early for their first run. I don't know if they're planning on doing two. It's been quite a while since I've actually run a qualifying session. All right, so Alonso sets provisional pole, beaten by Bottas and Verstappen, 123-2. Let's send our guys out. No traffic in front of us, that looks like. I mean, we do have Joe, but... Uh, let's let's hope he's fast enough 
that he doesn't slow us down. We do have Vettel coming through. I'm going to have to pass him. Oh, he's going to hold Piastri up. Damn it. It looks like Joe is fast enough to not impede our run. So how do we do? Pole position and P6. Now I think we might actually have to run this again. We were on old tires too, or used tires. So pole position, P6. P6, um, Piastri got held up by Vettel, which was unfortunate. So we will go that. We will put them on to new tires. I think I want them to go last. So we'll let uh, the AI go first. We have our first taker of the day. There goes everybody. How long is the lap? 123. All right, so we need to send them out right, ab right about now. We'll let Piastri go last. I think Alex will be good anyway. Somebody outside blasting their music. Yellow first sector for Alex. Yellow second sector. Piastri's got green sectors. Alex is still on pole, though. That's good. Wow, Piastri would have been out had we not sent him out for a second time. 123.052. Alex doesn't improve. Piastri does improve up to P2. So we are good to go. All right, so P1, P2, and both uh, qualifying one and qualifying two. So we did improve Oscar's car setup confidence a little bit, 97%. I think we'll just, we're just going to keep it there. Um, and we did end up running Logan for the FP1. So uh, everybody will be getting some experience today. All right, here we are going into Q3. Let me see. So we got the... All right, we got the new set. Let's go with the old one for our first run. Okay, here we go. We'll send them out pretty early. No point in watching sectors. They haven't set a fast lap yet, but we will watch anyway. They're on their used tires right now from Q2. Let's see how they do. 123.1 and 123.2, I think, was the, the or like a 123.2 was the fastest qualifying time. All right, so Piastri going into the 122s. Alex, only P5 there. Yikes. I don't, I don't think we were held up or anything either. So uh, let's see. We'll go in here, put him onto the new set. Same thing with Oscar. And then we will wait until about two minutes and then we will send them out. Alex is not a very good qualifying driver. Whenever I let the AI control it, he always qualifies behind Piastri or mostly. I think only like once or twice Alex has actually out qualified Oscar. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Um, we'll send Oscar out first and then we'll have Alex take the toe. Should be plenty of time to get them around. Although I think Alex is a little too far back at this point. All right, come on, boys. Let's go. Let's see some greens up there. Yellow. Come on, Alex. Green. Piastri still P1. Oh, Alex, only P3. Damn. Ricardo out-qualified us. Piastri just barely out-qualifying Ricardo. Maybe I should have done two new, um, new tire runs. That's fine. We'll have a, a brand new set of softs for the race. So P1 and P3 for Stappen only P6 plus the grid penalty. Bottas P5 plus the grid penalty and Fernando Alonso P10 plus the grid penalty. But Daniel Ricciardo, look at that. I'm going to have to check out his rating after this race. So we're going to start the race on the first and second row. But we do have new sets of softs. So I don't know if we're going to be 
Is this going to be a two-stopper? Mm, okay, this is good. Perhaps it is a good thing that we saved the set of softs for the race. We can go soft, hard, mediums. Although, unless... Oh, no. Okay. I think we'll go soft, hard, mediums. I think we'll do that with both of our drivers. Yeah, it should give us plenty of life left. And um, it's the last race of the year anyway. We've already clinched both championships. Might as well take a risk here and have a little bit of fun. We're starting ahead. The only drivers that look like they'll beat us, uh, have any chance of beating us are starting well behind us anyway. Uh, Perez and Verstappen. So. Oh, I thought my cat was about to jump up. Something just fell out of my pocket. All right, so we have 100% confidence, 97% confidence. Uh, do we have newer engine components? That was 83. This is 83. 87. That is 88. Let's do that. Give ourselves the newest components. We have 78 and 77. All right, so we have the newest one on right now. 82. 84. There we go. I paid for them, might as well use them, right? All right, both of those are 88 and an 85. So let's go, what's that, 82, all right. Can we put on any more fuel? No, we are pretty much maxed out. All right, let's start this off. Clear skies tonight with the drivers all right, Hold on tight. last race of the season, it's guys. The Nothing to race free. for, we're just gonna have fun. This will be just for bragging rights. I'm not even going to stop it. We we'll just watch it. We'll watch it at 2x so it doesn't take forever. Alright, so it does look like a few other drivers starting on softs. And then both the Williams out to P1 and 2. That's good. Let's take a look at the tires. We do have some people starting on mediums. Uh, and a few on softs. So it's pretty much split, but I think it's going to be a two-stopper for everybody. So let's go here. I'll even let them fight it out. I'm not going to do anything here. We'll go on board 2x and just kind of watch this. Let's see if we can pull away from these guys and make it a Williams battle out front to determine who wins today's race. Where is Verstappen? Verstappen's all the way down in P7. And Perez is in P4, but... I mean, just like in real life, Perez isn't really much of a threat. It's either Verstappen or one of the Mercedes or Ferraris. Um, I feel bad for Perez. He's a very solid driver, just not... I, I, I honestly think if, if you've given Alex Albin one more year or had Alex drive the 2022 regulation cars, I think he probably could perform as well as Perez and this is coming from an Albin fan who thinks Alex isn't good enough to fight against Verstappen I I know Alex is not in the same league as Verstappen or Leclerc or even um, Hamilton and Russell I think Alex is one tier below them but uh, I honestly don't see anything special from Checo other than he can manage his tires make them last super long and then be an absolute nuisance when when like Hamilton and Sainz and Leclerc and Russell pit and then uh, Red Bull needs Perez to slow them down but other than that I don't think Checo ever was in contention to win the driver championship this year even in that car maybe at the beginning of the year when they weren't developing the car yet and Max still hadn't gotten to uh, get a handle on the car yet but Towards the end of the season, you could see the top tier drivers starting to understand the car a little bit better and extracting as much as they can out of that car. And then drivers like uh, Perez, uh, dare I even say, I mean, I'm not saying he's in the same tier as Perez, but like Mick Schumacher, who still really couldn't get a grips on the car or, or Tifi couldn't get uh, to grips with the car. So... I think Perez is good. I don't think he is as good as everybody was saying he was going to be when he first joined Red Bull. I think his year in a pink Mercedes made his stats look much better than he actually was. Like I said this before, and I'll say it again, even Stroll got a podium 
in the pink Mercedes, you know. So that was the pink Mercedes was a car that won the championship the year before. It's kind of expected that they would do well in that car. Uh, I think Perez is much better than Stroll, but I don't think he is in that top tier of driver. I don't know how we got into this conversation, how I got into this conversation. Uh, but anyway, lap five now, and the Williams boys are just far and away faster than everybody on this grid. Perez has made his way up to P3, fighting with Ricardo right now. Piastri and Albin kind of switching um, positions every time we head down a DRS street. So I think we've got this one handled. Pit stop in about eight laps or so. Oh, I don't know. We might even be able to stretch this out. No, I don't think we're stretching this out into a one-stop. Maybe if we started in the mediums, we probably would have been able to stretch this out to a one-stop. All right. Uh, I'm going to have Alex not fight teammate. That way, they're not, they're not slowing each other down um, going into the corners and stuff like that. I'll let Piastri push, and then Alex can use DRS to catch up again. Luckily for us, there are two super long DRS zones here, so it should give us plenty oh, of time to pull away. Oh, Let's Hamilton, how the mighty now have fallen. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. They're forced wide, and there we oh, can see he just side. mounted the curb a little bit. I wouldn't even consider that going wide. So oh, okay, okay, so battery is empty. Let us have Alex go ahead. And then we'll let Piastri harvest battery a little bit. What's going on? Norris spin on turn six. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. And yes, that's where they spin out. Who went into the back of Norris there? Can't tell. Was that Joe? Joe Guan Yu? I think it might have been. Looked like an Alphatari. Alright, so. Wow, pit window's opening in two laps, and we still have a chunk of tire life left. Let's just go aggressive. All right. Yellow sector three. Ignore. We still have a little bit of tire life left. We'll go a few more laps here. Seems to have been a lockup. Ricardo lock up. Oh yeah, he now. was at the front, wasn't Daniel he? Ricardo Ouch, he was in a podium position. Oh, I don't think he's been on the podium That's all year. Alright, so both Alex and Oscar. You know, I'm going to bring Oscar in this lap. So let's have him kill his tires. He'll be going onto the hards. Yeah, and then we'll bring in Alex on the next lap. So might as well kill those tires. And then he will go onto the hards. We have a lot of people into the pits. Were those all the soft runners? Yeah, pretty much all the soft runners into the pits. Tires are really coming down. Copy. Okay, so let's see. Perez takes the lead of the race. Alex filters out behind P.S. Oh, whoops. I still have Don't Fight Teammate on, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Can we get out in front of Joe here? I think we will. We should be able to get by him with uh, DRS. There we go. Alex gets out in front of Joe. Piastri should get by now as well. Okay, let us deploy a little bit to make sure we don't get undercut. We did get the fastest lap with Oscar Piastri. Again, not worth a point, but we do make a little bit of money off of the uh, guarantees, our performance guarantees. All right, so we've worked our way up to behind Ricardo, who was at one point in P3. Alex should be able to get by. No, not quite. 
Should be able to get by now. Okay, there we go. We, they're both by. All right, good. And we have Perez and Signs both uh, oh, coming in right now, or at least Perez is anyway. And then I think this is this race is pretty much over, barring any mistakes from our guys here. Plenty of tire life left. We should, we might actually even be able to go soft, hard, softs here, I think. And we are both out again. We will have Piastri Harvest behind Alex. It's a good swan song to go out on. We are currently 12 seconds ahead of the next closest competitors. And our two boys are right next to each other now. If we're still like this at the end of the race, I might them uh, might let them have a go at it. Don't fight teammate. And let them fight for this last win here. Alright. So lap 27 now of 58. We're just gonna go 16x since we watched qualifying and this video is gonna be a bit long anyways. And we're currently 12 seconds ahead, so we'll let them go at it now. Yeah. I don't believe anybody's been given orders. They're allowed to fight. Now, if we start seeing this gap come down, I might have them not fight each other. All right. This gap's not really coming down. I'm going to have Alex sit behind Piastri for a little bit. I think Piastri's got the pace here anyway. Will the gap go up now that they're not fighting? Or was them using DRS to leapfrog each other actually helping us pull away? I'll try that again. No, Alex. What, what got damaged? Just a front wing. Okay. Well, we're still ahead. We have minor damage. We're still ahead. Let's let's use up the rest of these tires here and see if we can maintain that gap to Perez. All right. So we've entered the pit window. Um, still looking okay. We'll go aggressive with those tires as well. See if we can maintain this gap to Perez because. Uh, I don't want to lose any time right now. And if we come in now, we're, we're still a couple laps early for our final stint. So oh, it's actually Bottas, not Perez. So we'll have Alex stay out. He's only got minor damage to the front wing anyway. So it's not too bad. This should still m allow us to be faster than or be as fast as the cars behind us. So we will leave it at that for now. And then we will come in when we are supposed to. I think we can go one more lap. Let's go one more lap. Can you go push? Not me. We'll go one more lap with Alex as well. Okay, now we will have him come in at the end of this lap. Probably could have gone soft, medium, medium, eh? Maybe. I don't know. All right. So Piastri in this lap, Alex in on the next lap, and we're going to have to replace that front wing as well. It'll take us a little bit of time. Tires, we're going to go on to the mediums, and then we should be all set. Where is Alex? Right there. Okay. We're going to lose a little bit of time in the pits replacing that front wing. And there's an overtake from Williams. All right, so Piastri comes out in P3, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem with us. Perez and Bottas still both need to pit for their final stint, unless they're going to go long here. Uh, they might go long, but if they do, they're not going to have any tires life, tire life left at the end of the race. So let's see. Let's see what they decided to do. Piastri's already right on their tail, and Alex is not far behind either. Let's go and allow them to push on fuel. We have plenty of fuel left. Piastri already two seconds back. Let's see signs lock up here. Not much going on in this race. Ooh. 
a little over eager on that Alfa Romeo there, eh? Was that Ricardo he was trying to pass? Okay. Let's go on board here and see if Piastri can pass these guys. Let's go. Overtake. I think they're going to go to the end. There's only 13 laps left. And then this should be another easy, easy pass for us. There we go. Okay. We'll let him burn down that fuel. Let's see where Alex and is. A new position just gained by Williams. Plenty of life left. Alex should be able to catch up to these two Ferraris. And then Bottas and Perez should be slowing down as well. Uh, since their tires will start to die in a little bit. Actually, I don't know. They might be able to stay on. Let's go aggressive. Okay. Let's get past Signs. Let's get past Ricardo. Courtesy of DRS. And then we should be able to catch Perez and Bottas. I'm definitely not going to catch Piastri here. As he has pretty much... All right. Oh, Albon just currently has the fastest lap. All right. It doesn't matter. I don't think anybody's going to get the fastest lap. Once we get Alex out in... F Actually, Piastri might be the better candidate for the fastest lap. He's already 12 seconds ahead. We will conserve tires. Alex up to P4 now. Let's conserve a little bit of battery, and then on the next lap, we'll go ahead and take them. Where are their tires at? 30%. Yep, okay. Next lap, we will, next lap, we'll try to take them. For now, we will keep conserving. Here we go. Okay, energy's good. Okay. Fifty percent left on the tires. I think have they hit thirty yet? Not quite. They're about to. Oh DRS no! Safety car. DRS is going to disabled. Safety car. Mm. How far ahead are we? Okay, there's a big crash. Fourteen <laughs> seconds ahead. I I think Piastri should be able to. Why not? Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's see that crash. It's pretty much 2021 all over again. Let's Norris caused this now, crash. Take a look at the I don't know if we're going to get back to racing conditions. We're already at lap 55 of 58. And that's an off and a big off. Wow. Okay, so Norris out of this. Is Piastri going to get out? Oh, wow. Piastri barely got out in front of everybody else here. I think we're going to have one lap left. One lap running. We're already in lap 57. Safety car in this lap. All right. Well, no point yeah. in conserving anything. Let's just go sure balls to the, to the wall Perfect. here. And you'll go push. Perfect. Perez on 33% hard compound tires. We are 47%. Not exactly fresh tires, but still better than 33% hards. And then we're just going to have them deploy since there's only going to be one lap left anyway. So um, I think this should be pretty good for us. Last lap, mate. Last lap. Verstappen up to P7. He might be able to take a, a couple more positions here as Leclerc is out in front of him. But I think the Red Bull is much faster. And then everybody else in front okay. of him has, has really old hard tires on. So... Shouldn't be too difficult for him if he chose to. Now, I think we're going to finish 1-2, so there's really no point watching. Let's see how well Verstappen can finish here. 
like I said, this really doesn't affect anybody in the top, like, 10. I think they're all finishing in the top 10 anyway. There's only a possibility for the last four to really change their positions, but I think they're too far down the grid to really gain enough points to help themselves move up. So, Oscar, obviously on brand new softs, or as brand new as possible, they were like 86%. Finishing P1, Alex finishing P2, Perez P3, Bottas P4, Ricardo, who had a hell of a race, probably should have finished third, uh, if not for that incident he had. Then Leclerc, Verstappen, who couldn't clear anybody in, uh, in front of him, Sainz, Vettel, and Joe Hamilton finishing out of the points, and Russell finishing outside of the points as well. All right, so good last race for us. Really no competition. We kind of just pulled away at the beginning there, and if it weren't for the fact that we went for a two-stop, we probably would have crushed the competition, but uh, going for a two-stop gave us a little bit of entertainment at the end of the race there. Constructor stand or driver standings at the end of the year now. Alex Albin, P1, with 377 points. Max Verstappen, who put up a hell of a fight all year long, finishing second with 320. Oscar Piastri, who only got the seat like four races, five races into the season, ended up storming all the way to P3 in the driver's standings. Jack doing down here, P16 with 12 points. Uh, and in the constructor's standings, Williams, we won by 145, 44 points. Red Bull in P2, Mercedes P3, Ferrari P4, Alpine, McLaren, Alfa Romero, Alfa Tauri, and then Haas and Aston Martin with no points. So really good race, really good season for us. Let's see if Logan gets any development points. Doesn't look like it. And then we come home with six million dollars at the end of the year here. Good for us. Let's just do this right now. Um, actually, you know, I will save it for the end of the season video. So that is it, guys. We have finished up. Everything's final now. We won both championships. I will leave it at that. I will take care of everything else, the postseason and preseason stuff in the next episode, as it usually takes a good 15, 20 minutes to go through. So that'll be a whole nother episode by itself. But guys, we won the championship finally. After three seasons, Alex Albin got his well-deserved driver's championship. I am a huge Albin fan. Don't think he's ever gonna come close to this in real life. So this is will be this will be as close it as it gets to seeing him win a championship. But if you guys think I've earned it, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Remember to eat your bok choy. I will see you guys in the next episode, and hopefully we can repeat this next year.